In 8.3, we're going to be talking about area. So my objective is to review basic area concepts, to provide practice estimating the area of a polygon by counting unit squares and using a scale drawing to find area. So let's do a few mental math problems. Hopefully we're really rocking these out quickly. 20 plus 30, 2 plus 3 is 5 and 1 zero is 50. 60 plus 40, 100. 25 plus 75, 100. And 55 plus 35, 90. 126 plus 40, 166. 363 plus 30, 393. 642 plus 60, 702. And 70 plus 586, 656. Hopefully you're keeping up with me and beating me. 72 plus 45, 117. 56 plus 56, 112. 159 plus 159, 318. And 315 plus 682, 997. Math message. Read page 133 of your student reference book and be ready to describe a situation in which you would need to know the area of a surface. When you come back to me with your study link, I'm going to ask you that question, so be prepared. Using page 133 of your student reference book, you need to review basic area concepts. As a part of the discussion, I want to remind you that area is a measure of the surface inside a shape. Area is commonly measured in square units. The area of a surface is the number of unit squares and fractions of unit squares needed to cover the surface without overlaps and or gaps. I want to call your attention to the classroom display of unit squares and to alternative ways of writing the units. So you can have a square inch or, take a look at this, this is what it looks like, inch squared, that's what the little number two up there means, square meter or meter squared, and so on. In this lesson, you will review a counting square strategy to find area and then use their scale drawings from the previous lesson to find the area of the classroom. So on page 133, here it's just going to give you what I was talking about, the area of a rectangle. Sometimes you want to know the amount of a surface inside a shape. The amount of the surface shape is called its area. You can find the area of a shape by counting the number of squares in the certain size of that shape. So, instead of going on and continue to reading, I'm just going to go to here to what is the area of the rectangle. So the rectangle on the right is covered by squares that are one centimeter on each side. So each square is called a square centimeter. And notice that's written here for you, centimeter squared. So six of the squares cover the rectangle. Here's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we would say the area of the rectangle is six square meters. This is written as six SQ, abbreviated for square CM, or we can just do it this way and do six centimeters and put the little squared symbol up again at the top. Remember, don't confuse area of a shape with its perimeter. The area is the amount of surface inside the shape. The perimeter is the distance around the shape. So estimating areas of polygons by counting squares. So you need to go to Math Journal, page 227. Complete problems one through four independently. If no one else is at your same spot, then go ahead and do five to seven alone also. So this is what your page looks like. And what you're going to do is you're going to be counting each square. So I'm going to do number two for you because number one looks fairly simple. So what I like to do is I like to go ahead and put numbers in the squares so that I don't lose count or forget one. So this would be number one. This is two squares. Three, four. This would be five, six, and sorry about that, five, seven, eight. These two halves, this one and this one make nine. And this half here, along with this half here, make 10 for 10 centimeters squared. 
go ahead and do the rest on this page and then go check it in the math journal answer key. Estimating the area of our classroom floor. You need to go back to page 225 and turn to your scale drawing of the classroom. You can work in pairs if somebody else is at the same spot, otherwise you may do it alone and if you struggle, come ask for assistance. Make sure you understand that the grid square in their scale drawing represents one square foot of our classroom. When completed with that, you can go to your math box page. You're going to be looking at sets of numbers, inserting greater than, less than, or equal to. Don't forget the first step you're supposed to do if you struggle a little bit is go to your SRB and look up the examples they have to help you figure out your answers on this page. Then go ahead and check them in your math journal answer key. And finally, you will be exploring area. They're showing you the rectangle at the right as drawn on a one centimeter grid. You need to find its area. So remember, you're counting, okay, if you, if you want to count. There also is another way. If you count and you're counting one, I'm sorry, let's do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. You can count them. There is a shorter cut though. You could just take one, two, three, four, and write that number down. And then you could count across, counting this corner one again, one, two, three, four, five, six. And if you multiply those two together, four times six, you would also get 24 centimeters squared. Don't forget to do the practice down here on the bottom, and then turn that in.